Hey, what is up guys? Sneaky GFX here, and yes, I do have a mic and a brand new computer. But today, I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on how to do a desktop layout to your liking. Just customize it however you want. Right here is mine. I put separators in between the little tabs. I, put, I made myself a little docklet. It's not really a dot, it's just a box going around it. Added some lines just just for some looks. So first off, this is like, okay, here's just a normal desktop background. First you want to print screen, which is on your keyboard. It's, mine is located by F, the F keys at the end, right next to scroll lock. Yours is probably under delete. But, okay, so just click it. Nothing should load. Open up Photoshop. No, first, open up your internet. Go to wall.alphacoders.com. I'll leave a link in the description to get your computer resolution if you do not know what it is. It's right under global filters, your resolution, minus 1600 by 900. So once you found that out, go back to Photoshop, File, New, put your resolution in, click OK, and then it should pop up. Hit Edit, Paste. And then there is the desktop screenshot that you just took. So first off, I'm going to do this dock, or whatever you would like to call it. So make a new tet layer. Go around it, however you have your icons. I usually have mine at the top, just to give it a nice, organ, like just to keep everything organized. Right click, fill, black. Click OK. Well, it can be whatever color you want. Or you can stroke it. I usually do stroke. With two color any you want. Click OK. Control D to deselect. And there you should have it. I usually add a drop shadow. Just to give it a nice look. And... For then you want to get your single row marquee tool if you want to do a design like mine I'm just explaining mine and these are going to be the separators it's going to put a separator right in between the Facebook and the YouTube icons or links and if you want to know how to get your desktop like mine comment below and like this video and I'll have you updated as soon as I can so once you have that you want to right click, fill, color, whatever you want. I'm going to use black. Click OK, Control D, and there you should have your design. I usually keep it on the same, uh, same layer I used to do the dock, but it's whatever you want because mine's simple, so I really don't need that many layers. Next, you use the single row marquee tool depending on your layout and I usually put it right next to everything right click fill color whatever you want I'm using black well no for, for this one you want to create a new layer if you're doing the way I'm doing it so then right click fill black control D then hit control J to duplicate the layer get the move then move it over to wherever you want it to be so it can line up evenly I add a drop shadow give it a nice look drop shadow give it a nice look and that is how you put the lines on it but I here we'll go one step further Okay, so far you have the lines, and now for the background itself, for the image to create your own, well, make I usually use patterns because to me they look the best. So just type in anything you want. I usually go with carbon fiber wallpapers, and this is also how to create your own patterns, how to save them, and do whatever you want with them. So I'm just gonna go to images and try to find a good one I will use this one right here I'm just gonna I'll 
so let me see if I can drag this up here and yes I can so then what you want to do is edit define pattern click OK go back to it double click on the, the layer which is usually the main layer to lay you first start off with so unlock it click pattern and then click the layer this is how it would look like if you hit carbon fiber but I'm gonna use the one I made and click OK and there you should have your design and you can add whatever you want like let's say you want your name there I usually try to get mine blended in with a dot so it looks like it's hanging down but depends how thick you want your dot I used to keep mine thin because I don't want it too distracting. So type in, I'm just going to type in name. Change the color. I usually, yeah, like I said, I change it to the color as the dock is, which is black, just to like blend it in, like make, make it look like it's hanging. But it's going to be a little bit hard for this one because it's thin. We'll, we'll, we'll just leave it at that and. If you want to customize your dock a little bit more, just add the final touches to it. You want to get your pen tool or whatever shape you would like. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna do some, just like triangles. You know, just click here, 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 connect, fill, black, enter, and there, like now you have a nice design and you can do whatever you want you can just keep on going just use your imagination be creative I'm gonna put another box connecting <clears throat> enter so there you got like a nice design right here nice border nice layer then you just file Save as JPEG. I I save as a PSD too, just in case you add some like you add some shortcuts to your desktop folder, so you can just add those extra lines without having to redo the whole thing. Just name a desk. Just name a layout. Save maximum. Minimize this. Now right click that. Uh, layout right click well, let me put these back just delete this really quick okay move everything there okay set as desktop background and there you have it guys your own personal layout for your desktop it's very good to keep yourself organized and just to give it the extra pop well, thank you guys. So, again, if you want to know how I did my desktop like this, got these icons, these links, and everything on here, just comment below saying, just comment below asking how I did it, and like the video, and subscribe, and soon I'll have a tutorial on how to do your desktop like mine. So keep just keep checking in and yeah I'm out